Part of the program is the healthy self-talk, mm -hmm. and that involves scripture and telling yourself the truth instead of believing the lies that Satan would like you to believe about just, you know, the shame and all that that goes with, with loss. So it was, it was not just a, a diet plan. No. It was a whole changing your thinking, as, yes. a, as you say in the book kind of plan and and how do you feel today how long how long has that been by it's way? been uh since three I've, four months yes almost four months yeah uh, so you're not too far past the 90 days as we sit here today right, right and how do you feel well i feel um just hopeful that's a great that's beautiful <laughs> mm -hmm. and yeah. um like I have this new lease. Sorry, I get a little touched, but I, I just feel like God's really just used them in the whole program. Sorry. No, you do <laughs> not be sorry. That's beautiful. Uh, uh, to just bring hope and help. What was one of the lies that you believe that you started to work on as you were going through it, that you were <clears throat> deciding, I'm not going to tell myself that anymore? Because that's what we try to tell women. You know, hear yourself telling yourself these things and just say, stop it, that's a lie. Mm -hmm. Call it out for what it is, that's a lie. Well, comparison. I think comparison oh, yeah. is the thief of joy. And Absolutely. I had to tell myself, I'm not going to do that anymore because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. Mm -hmm. I can be healthy. I don't have to be a stick to be loved and accepted and forgiven and, you know, just flourish in life. So that was probably a big one for me. I think of like what it says one. in Psalm 34, those who look to him will be radiant with joy, mm -hmm. no shadow of shame will touch their faces. Mm -hmm.